to Wilkinson. Thank you, Lesroy. Nursing is a profession that only a selected few can pursue. It demands a lot from those who enter the field. To be a good nurse, one has to possess certain qualities, including a caring and empathetic attitude, good judgment, and communication skills. One must also be detailed-oriented, emotionally stable, functioning in very stressful environments, and have the physical endurance to work long hours, even on weekends, holidays, and special personal days like birthdays. Nurse Josephine Aceo possessed all these qualities and more that made her excel at what she loved best, that is caring for the sick and vulnerable. She came to St. Kitts five years ago and dedicated her life to serving the people of this federation right up to the time of her death. She was so committed to the health care of this nation that she was active in recruiting her daughter, who is also a nurse, and has served on the oncology unit for the last four years. Nurse Aser was an outstanding midwife and helped bring many of our Federation's children into this world, some who I am sure will go on to be leaders of our country in many different disciplines. She also trained many nursing students in the art of midwifery. She has therefore contributed significantly to the present and future development of a country that was not even her own. For her and contribution to our nation, we are eternally grateful. The entire medical fraternity mourns her loss. It was especially tough for some of her nursing colleagues moving on with their regular duties at the hospital yesterday and the necessary counseling was given to those who needed it. We will never, however, be able to imagine how this loss has affected her close friends and family. I pray that the Lord gives them the comfort that they need at this time and the strength to go on as they try to deal with this loss. My heart is especially filled with grief as I think about her daughter, nurse Roseanne de la Cruz, of the oncology unit. This is a very difficult time for her, and we want her to know that she's in our thoughts and prayers. We are indeed indebted to this nursing stalwart who contributed so much to our health institution, and to her daughter, and to all the nurses from the Philippines who make that long trip across the Atlantic, far from home and loved ones, to help us in specialty nursing fields like oncology, hemodialysis, accident and emergency, operating theater, respiratory care, and maternal and child health. Let us show Nurse Aceo the dignity and respect she deserves in death, as she showed us while she was here in life. I urge those who have falsely associated her death with the vaccine to desist from spreading such false rumors. We can have disagreements and discussions on the vaccine and the vaccine rollout. It's ingenuous to make baseless claims that her death was related to the vaccine at this time of the family's grief. She was a staunch soldier in the fight against COVID-19 and was one of the first frontline workers who stepped forward and got vaccinated, not just to protect herself, but the newborns the pregnant and the nursing mothers with whom she worked with on a daily basis, and also all those who access care at the Joseph and France Hospital. She certainly would have been saddened to learn that her legacy in this fight was being falsely tarnished. We will never forget the warmth that she brought to work on a daily basis as she served the people of our Federation. May her soul rest in eternal peace as the family mourn her loss and prepare to have her body repatriated to the Philippines. The Ministry of Health and the Government of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis extend sincerest condolences to the family of Nurse Arcero and the entire Filipino community. Her selfless service to our nation will never be forgotten.